as a graduate student at High Point studying communication, we're kind of taught to keep an eye on the horizon for new and emerging technologies. One technology that I'm very excited about is augmented and virtual reality, especially seen in things like uh, Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive. How do you see these virtual and augmented realities changing and affecting um, our daily lives? All my life of electronics, personal electronics, from personal computers on, people saw something that gave them a little more power. And wow, I could do something I couldn't do before, and they felt an emotion. This is neat. I can have something I can show off. I can be impressive to myself and to my friends. And every step of the way, we improved the visual resolution more than anything else. Input and output is what has changed in our computers more than the little brain inside, which of course got faster and faster. But the visual presentation, the screens got higher resolution. They got larger. We surrounded ourselves with multiple screens. We went in the movies, we went to larger screens and to IMAX dome theaters. And then you put on a virtual, and each one of these attracts us because it's an emotional feeling that goes with it. And then you put on the virtual reality helmets now or the even Google Cardboard and you say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's like this, I never imagined this. And you start feeling emotions. I can't believe where I am. Um, I think that's going to be the next, the very next big thing. I think it'll even go a lot faster than um, um, self-driving cars. What, what every manufacturer is going to have those on the road pretty soon. And that doesn't mean that it happens instantly. Sometimes everybody says, oh, I got to get this virtual reality and maybe it takes a VR headset and it'll take, um, you know, many years to get there. But from my experiences, it's like a feeling you've never had. I can't tell you what virtual reality is. I can't tell you what augmented reality is because when you read the words, you sort of say, well, it seems to have some use, it might work a certain way, but you don't have the emotions and the feelings till you try it yourself. It's like a song. I could describe a song. I could maybe even read the words of a song. You don't know if you're gonna like it till you hear it. You just have to experience it yourself. So it's something that'll come through experience, but it's gonna come very fast. The, um, the HTC Vive sold, sold out 15,000 in 10 minutes and it's not even available yet. yet. And um, the Oculus Rift is coming with a ton of software. A lot of games are going to be so interesting in this world. But to put a helmet on, be under seas looking at the, um, the fish going by, you know, that you bought from the Oculus store, and look at some whales and some white sharks and some dolphins playing and look at the crabs growing, walk on the bottom. You take it off and you can't even believe you're still in a chair in the real world. So um, that's, yeah, I'm, all f I'm for that. It's going to be a big deal.